So there's a giant campaign, or at least like a couple campaigns going on on the Japanese PSO2. Obviously some of the big ones are going to kick in in March, like the graphical update and several other things. But I'm going to address this just because it can give you a lot of star gems if done right. So, if you want to look at the information yourself or the translated information, you can look in the description for that. I will also have links to the Japanese website as well, talking about said information. And from what I looked at on the Japanese website as well, when it comes to the premiums PS2 day, it's going to be the super one. It's going to be the boosted one. Now, I might be wrong, but I'll make sure I'll source the said material that displays said information. Because once uh, it's like over here where it talks about it, it says PS2 day of every month of the 22. Now, this is me using Google Translate for this. But it says February 22nd, Monday, the premium sets the valid validity period limited super PSO2 day grade up to. So, and it displays all these boosts. So, if you have premium, you can use that to your advantage as well, with, along with some of the stuff that is going on on this end. Once again, I'll have that link in the description. So, there's a Star Gem campaign going on. If you log in each day, you receive 22 Star Gems. There's going to be a bunch of other tasks that you can do as well. Note that this is not physically in-game. You will need to know this news announcement or see said info on these different websites. So, you have to clear any feature quest and receive the special gift. So, if you clear a feature quest and you don't receive the gift, this will not count. So, make sure you do both. It says and. It is not optional. It's not like it says or. So, clear any feature quest and receive the special gift X amount of times. Now, you see that there's a number for 3, 5, and 7. You would also want to push it to 10. But for now, with these specific quests, you clear any feature quest and receive the special gift three times, you get 22 star gem ticket times two. You do it again, you do it five times. So if you do it three times, just add two, you get this one. Then add another two, and then you get this one. So three, five, seven. And then later on, there's another bonus if you decide to go to ten. But if you decide to do these three, you get these. Now, for this clear any emergency quest mission or task, it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And this can, be, this can be on any difficulty. So you could do it on ultra hard. You can do it on normal. If you're able to get these numbers though, guess what? You get these rewards. There's 8 of these tasks. Now do 8 times 2. That is 16. Do 22 times 16. That is 352 star gems from these tasks alone. I'll go back to that when I give my opinion. I'll go back to this section when I when I talk about my opinion about it. So from February 17th to March 3rd, this is going to be a 300% rare drop rate boost along with added items in its uh, drop loot. This is going to kick in for the mining base defense virtual train virtual reality, mine, morning of demise, excuse me, and then primordial glare from the void. In terms of added items, it's giving a Divide Meadow, Gold Prize Meadow, Cobit Meadows, God Ice Stone Grey, or however you pronounce that, Amphorite Stone, Liberates Unlocker, Chrono Stone, Grain Crystal, Plus One Grind Cap, and then Three Camels, Celestial, Plaxion, Profound Synixion, and then the Talon Walk. Item Get Campaign, once again, February 17th to March 3rd. If you clear any feature quest and receive the special gift 10 times, which I mentioned from before. But if you do it 10 times, you get a bonus key Tokyo Rainbow. If you clear the emergency quest mining base defense virtual reality 5 times, you get another bonus key Tokyo Rainbow. If you clear the emergency quest morning of demise 5 times, you get an ability success rate, I'm going to call it ASR now, 50%. If you clear the emergency quest Promotio Glare from the Void 5 times, you get another ASR 50%. And then if you clear any emergency quest on Ultra Hard 5 times, you get an ASR 50%. So I had to cut away because someone was calling. So for the PSO 20th Anniversary Campaign, it's going to happen from February 17th to March 31st. If you log into the game, 
at least once during this campaign period, you get a bonus key Tokyo Rainbow, ability transfer pass times 10, plus 150 tri boosts times 5, and then another 150 tri boosts, but it's an EX type times 5. If one of the things happens in your team, most likely all of the members are going to get said rewards. So, if a team with a newly registered player is in by March 31st, you get another bonus key Tokyo Rainbow, 150% Tri Boost times 5, 150% Tri Boost EX times 3, and then Lobby Action 47 Camera Action. Now, if a team has a returning player in it by March 31st, guess what? You get a bonus key Tokyo Rainbow, 150% Tri Boost times 5, 150% Tri Boost EX times 3, and then Lobby Action Bed 1. Now, I don't know if these two will stack, or if it's separate, but uh, yeah. Level up support boosts from March 17th to March... Wait, excuse me, did I read that right? Yeah, so February 17th to March 17th, there's going to be a plus 250% XP boost. So currently, right now, it is at 450%. Why is that for 150%? It's because that there's already a passive 200% EX boost with it. And if you put 250, that's 450. And then if you put Super PSO 2 day as well, that's going to increase that to uh, 650%. AC sharp bargain for sure sharp. Blah, blah, blah. AC sharp bargains. So from February 17th to February 24th. This gives you the early spring starter set, which gives you item pack expansion plus 10, mag ticket, 100,000 XP ticket times 3 for 500 ACs. Affordable boost set is 150% XP boost and then 400% red drop rate boost times 2 at 2,000 ACs. And then start Sage Crest campaign from February 17th to February 24th. If you do one of the followings, you can get these currency, which you can trade in with Zig, so you can get some 15 stars. If you clear a feature quest and receive a special gift one time, you get 10 Sage Crests. If you clear a feature quest and receive a get special gift three times, you get 10 Sage Crests. If you clear any emergency quest three times, you get another 10 Sage Crests. Clear the emergency quest Primordial Glare from the Void one time, you get 10 Sage Crests. Log in three days, 10 Sage Crests. Link with PSL2ES and do a quick search, you get 10 Sage Crests. So, big thing is this motherfucker right here, alright? Star Gym campaign, this thing? This thing can stack, and if I'm right, and if I did my math correctly, from the, well, 17th to the 3rd, I, I got like 15 days from that, so let's count. And we're counting 17th as well. So, 17th is 1. And then there's 18, which is 2, 19, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, do 22 times 15. If I did my math right, it's supposed to be 330. 330. Actually, yeah, yeah, it is 330, hopefully. But add that with these tasks. These two are separate from each other, so the task in themselves is 352. Do 330 plus 352, it is 682 star gems, which if you want to rough round it up, it's going to be 700, roughly around 700 star gems. Um, that is a lot of fucking star gems. And all you're doing is just logging into the game. And if you're doing some other ways to get star gems, you could stack upon that. And if you did some of the tasks from last week as well, where you did ultra hard free field and got the 300 star gems from there, um, you just got to whop in a thousand plus star gems from doing some of these tasks alone. Actually, no, it's, it's close to a thousand, not exactly a thousand plus. By the way, yeah, they're, they're handing out star gems like candy right now. Um, so make sure to do this one. This is very good. Th this just helps you avoid doing some of the tedious grind. But if you do everything you've been doing so you can get your in star gem income on Japanese PSO2, 
This is just going to increase that number even further. So this is a huge plus side and you would want to do it. So emergency quest re rush campaign. This one is um, incentives bonuses, especially if you're working towards these things over here. This is very optional because once again, if you hit certain thresholds in the game already, hit, hit certain goals, like you already made all the stuff in game, then you might not need these. But just in case... I would say you would want to get the free stuff. Just do these little things over here. And you could also get a chance to get any one of these things over here. Now, I don't know how much in terms of the medals you're getting. I don't know how much you're getting exactly. I shall see when I do this stuff in the game. But um, yeah, it's just like bonus incentives as you do this thing and also do this thing over here. And then the Sage Crest, that's also another bonus. This thing is going to be good, but at the same time, I have no clue if um, we're going to get an influx. It depends. This is until March 17th instead of March 3rd. So around that time, they might be doing that graphical update. And then most likely some returnees or some new players might come on or come in during that time. And they might take advantage of that, especially if it's with the... If, if I'm reading this right, Super PSO 2 Day is supposed to be from here on out. So if it is also Super PSO 2 Day on March 2nd on the Japanese side, then this thing is going to get boosted towards, I think, 600? Let me stare at this damn thing. I can't remember what it does. Yeah, 200% XP gain. That's going to kick in. And... XP gain from bonus quests. Okay, so it's not with the e this uh recommended feature quest so at the very least it's going to be pushed to 650 percent experience if done correctly but uh yeah and then bonuses perks if you get these individuals into your team before march 31st comes around if you log in once you you get this stuff though and uh yeah the sage crest always been there like this is just going to be bonuses for you doing all these things up here. That is it. So if you got any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. But yeah, this is uh, stupid. But at the same time, I don't mind it. It kind of gives me an excuse to kind of go back and play a bit on the Japanese PS2. Um, no clue if I'm going to get anything good from these, but I will see. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.